Now, on my left is uh, Brian Harrell. Did I pronounce it right? And uh, Brian has uh, uh, created a CD. How many songs are on here, Brian? Well, originally there were uh, 13. Not that we're superstitious, but mm -hmm. uh, at the very last minute, right before this went to, to the presses, uh, we added an extra song in there to round it out to 14. And how did you get started on this project? Uh, well, initially it was just uh, being around Baby uh, at the beginning, and uh, it's hard not to be you know, inspired to a certain degree. I wasn't expecting to be inspired to the point of writing an entire album. I just wrote one little song, and um, that turned into two songs, and eventually it wound up being an entire album. I mean, I, I surprised myself, to be honest with you. I didn't know that the well would be quite so deep, but it was. And, well, what surprised you most about being around Baby? Um, I think the fact that after everything she's been through, um, she she still craves to be held, to be around humans, to be touched. You would think that she would be very uh, uh, hesitant to be touched or anything like that, but she, she really craves uh, affection and she's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost like she's, uh, she's working on a different level, I think. I mean, if any human being that I know would have been through what she's been through, you would have just want to crawl into a cave and just never associate with humans again. But well put. That, that's not the case for her. Yeah, I would say Baby has a tremendous joy of life. She does, yeah. and, and that pushes us right into song number 14 that we uh, mm -hmm. added to the album. Uh -huh. And Jay, is, that, is that the one you wanted to sing? Yeah, uh, you know, we had written uh, many different songs for the album, each one kind of telling a different chapter in Baby's life. You know, so, uh, one song might be a little sad about being, you know, imprisoned against your will. And then another song might be happy about, you know, uh, being set free. And then some other songs about, uh, uh, about uh, you know, what people can learn from animals and what animals can bring to people and all of that but we got through the whole thing and and I wanted to do one more song to round it out to 14 songs and so we came up with this one and it's called uh, baby song and this is the last song we just wrote this about a month ago so I don't know the lyrics really well so if you know if, if you feel like you want to sing along feel free oh, sure, go ahead. <laughs> I'll do this I want to walk, I want to run, I want to play every day, I want to have some fun, I want to rock, I want to roll, in the green grass, under the blue skies, till I get old. I want to make you smile, forget for a while The troubles that are bringing you down Things may be bad, but you can't feel sad Whenever I'm around I want to walk, I want to run I want to play every day I want to have some fun
That was absolutely fantastic, Yay! Brian. Thank you. And there's uh, 13 more songs just like 13 that. 13 more songs just like that. You can go to the website and go to Amazon.com and just type in a rare breed of love. And yeah, I, I've, I've done that. And uh, your, your website also has like the tour bus. Um, we have the most amazing 45 foot long touring coach that we wrapped in some of the photos from the book like Barack Obama and Judge Judy and the Chicago White Sox and then we also have puppy mill photos and I gotta tell you that bus stops traffic wherever we go people are pointing and taking pictures and you know trying to flag down our driver to ask questions it's really been a tremendous vehicle literally and, and, and figuratively for getting the message across. And uh, how, how much more long, how long have you toured and how much longer are you going to tour for? We've been on the road for about a month now. We've got about another month to go. We just got some great news that we're doing a national news program. Uh, we have to go back to New York to film that. So uh, we're, we're real excited. And we've got, you know, a lot more, more, more appearances to come. There's National uh, Puppy Mill Awareness Day coming up in Pennsylvania, and Baby's going to be a special guest at that event. And that's going to have thousands of, literally thousands of activists from around the country. And hopefully other uh, survivors. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of other puppy mill survivors. In fact, Baby and I were have been asked to uh, oversee the parade, to lead the parade of puppy mill survivors that day. So uh, we, we're on a mission, and our mission is to shut down puppy mills, and we think we can do it. And, and, and uh, first of all, you talked about in your book how uh, Baby was on an airplane and she can't go on airplanes? Yeah, that first, you know, when I, when I adopted her and brought her back to Chicago from California, I had to, they wanted me, the, the, the airlines wanted me, of course, you know, to put her in a carrier and put her under the seat. And because Baby was locked in a cage for all of those years, she really can't tolerate being put in a small, confined space like that. And she got physically ill. And I asked the flight attendant if I could hold her in my lap like this. And she said no, and so baby just got sicker and sicker as the flight progressed until eventually I had to spend the rest of the flight in the tiny bathroom with baby getting on my lap or on the little postage stamp sized floor getting sick. It was a miserable flight, to say the least, and it was the last time I flew commercially with her. Well, and my point was you're taking the bus because baby can't fly. That's right. And it's really a great way to go. I love it. Now, 